morning everybody welcome to another episode of chocolate vlogs this morning i am standing on the outskirts of narin i'm heading to tashrabat today which is here 112 kilometers in this direction we are hitchhiking most people probably doing a tour or a shared taxi to get there but on this adventure today i want to do a bit more of a local slash <laughs> Do it yourself. It is definitely possible. I have stocked up on some fruit and some nuts and I've got about two liters of water, all my photography gear. We are going on a few days trip out to this place. There are a lot of vehicles heading this way. What I would usually do is just to make sure I have a better chance of being picked up. You make it as easy as possible for someone to give you a ride because they're going in that direction. The best place for me usually is standing close to a service station like this one here and in the exact direction of where I'm going to. I have no idea who will pick me up, but I'm gonna find out. We have secured a partial ride. Spasiba. Australia. Australia. Uh, I'll show you. Susa? Niet. Karia? Niet. Australia? Uh, no. uh -huh. What's your name? Orsa. Orsa? I'm Matt. Kals. Kals? Kals? I'm Matt. Nice Kr to meet you. Kr Update, guys. We have secured a partial ride to 60, 70 kilometers down which will just get me in a really nice position to pretty much head directly to the turn-off point for Tashrabad. I only had to wait, I think that was the second car. The views already are insane. Internet must now. Yeah, yes, yeah. YouTube. Internet. <laughs> you can watch later. Internet, Apaskin. Yes. Marm Rayon, Apaskin, Yedin, Tashrabad. Aha, Tashrabad. Tashrabad, Thank you so much. Bye. 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 I just left one of my bags with food, the nuts and the fruit, so it's in the car. The guy is long gone. Ah, uh, it's a little bit annoying because now I've got like, I think I've got a little tiny piece of bread and apple and that's about all. Not very much more, but let's see if this guy will pick us up. Nope. Okay. And find out. Nice to meet you. So Kara just gave me a ride. We're chilling and chatting and he um, just got on his phone and got to the translate and just said hey like I will take you to Tashrabad but let's go to Kazbe first and we can give you some food and then we can head there together. Getting here and taking the and trying to hitchhike at least is a fantastic way to get to know the locals and also just have a wonderful experience. The road and the route from uh, from Nadin all the way here is very straightforward as well so if you're thinking about doing it definitely get around it. I highly recommend it. We are in Karasu here, this is the village. My friend here, he's from, here we go. We're turning into Azbe. That's not bad. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, just as I, as I was saying, who knows what's gonna happen, we've just broken down. Well, since we've been on the side of the road here, leading into entrance of Kairat's village, his brother actually just came past with his children and is helping out with the car mechanics. <laughs> Oh wow, hello. Hello, hello. Oi. Hello. Oh, my God. I see your scratch on my 
house, guys. <laughs> brother. Oh, you have more brothers yeah. here? Wow. <laughs> well. Nice to meet you. I'm Matt. Salam. 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 <laughs> okay. My name is Sama. Sama? I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Is it Russian? Yeah, I'm not even for Russian. Well, we have made it here. Kaira just came up to me just then and was saying, yeah, take a walk around and then I'll call you. Um, we're gonna have some food. So if you're wondering what the importance of this stone structure is, well, you're not alone. This place was a trade and political hub along the Silk Road. Very imposing, built into the side of this hill. Part of the family is still assembling. <laughs> we're gonna take a picture in five, four. Wow, they're all still coming. Still more. <laughs> Have a look at that. You can do a lot of things here. You can stay in a yurt, which is what I'm going to do tonight. Certainly you can walk up to Chati Lake or just do some walking around here or I'll simply relax on the hills. This is a wonderful place. <laughs> just want to uh, check the water temperature for you. Woo. That one's a coldie, but the view behind me is an absolute beauty. Alrighty, so apparently we're going for lunch now over here in this direction. Wow. Okay. So this is the preparation of the feast. How lucky am I? And this is everyone here. I feel like I'm part of the family now. <laughs> Put the spices on here. Mm, spices? Yes. Many, a lot of spices. And you cut. It's very delicious. Uh -huh. Tasty. Ah, spasibo. We will try this. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, super nice. <laughs> Very salty and it's like mm. very flavoursome. Mm. Mm. And this is the head. Mm. <laughs> wow. Like, and this is. Have a look at that. Oh. Mm. <laughs> We've got some bread, some juice, some watermelon on the menu. Japan, are you? You eat? Very good. Ah, let's see about. Can confirm that meat is delicious. All right, we just had an awesome spread and now the fowlers are all playing outside. I wanted to help the ladies inside, but they they refused my assistance, especially because they said I was a guest. We got ourselves in a very serious football game right now. Let's win this, guys. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 Nice to meet you. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Yes. You. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> hey, hey, Rakmat, Rakmat. <laughs> okay. Thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. We keep in touch. Wow, that was so nice. 
Ah, oh, the hospitality and the kindness of the people that you're meeting. That was a really nice afternoon, you know. We, we basically hung out from 11 and it's now 4 o'clock. What a day.